Okay, region. United States, no. Let's see. Do we have Canada? Oh, yes, we do. I am in Canada. Zone, Eastern. Where are you? I'm in my office. Which is the most similar to your keyboard? It's actually a bilingual keyboard, but I'll go with US. Oh wait, actually come to think of it, I'm not using my bilingual keyboard, I'm using the one that came with my computer. Which is the only thing that I've actually been able to use. And actually the, this had a three month warranty on it, or I should say this computer, it had expired. Well, it was in future hell, future shop. Okay. So this computer has no operating system on it. No shit. Okay, so here we go. Where do I want to put it? Okay, so for this one, I'm actually just going to erase and use the entire disk. Use largest continuous free space. At this point, don't really care about a partition. Or do I? I don't know what. Okay, so anyways, uh, talking to myself forward. And we have more action. What is your name? I'll put in my name. I'm going to put the camera down for a sec. Okay, here we go. I've entered my password. Forward. Oh! My username is invalid. Let's start with the lowercase. I, I will correct that and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm that I am Chris with a lower case. Let's see what happens. Oh, we have action. Sort of. New operating system. Okay, now it's formatting my partitions. I will be back. Add a little bit of motion now, we're up to 15%. Scanning files, copying files, 22%. And what do I for this one? Actually, I haven't shown any, or I don't think I've shown this on YouTube yet. What I now use is my primary setup. Uh, this is my MacBook. I've had this since 2007. It's appeared in many a video, and I now use this as my primary. The only problem I have with it is, well, a lot of my programs are Windows compatible only, which I now use that on my old, like, near-death laptop. Um, if you've ever seen the video I did a long time ago installing uh, Windows 7 beta on my Toshiba satellite, that's it. Anyway, so I've got that, but I have it hooked up. I use this, my HP monitor, and actually this is by far the best monitor I've ever owned. I love this monitor. I've had it for three years. Uh, I've got my Mac keyboard, and I my Mighty Mouse died. I've actually had two of them die, so I didn't bother replacing them. I've got a Microsoft mouse right there. And there's the HP mouse that I'm using. And this computer really um, is, will be nothing but a grunt work computer. Um, mainly because I've had too many problems with it and after years of using the Mac is primarily a computer that I just dragged to school with me and back. Uh, now that I'm out of school it doesn't go to school with me anymore. Just using it as a main one. I've actually found that I much prefer OS 10 as my primary computer. And I guess in my office I won't have any Windows computer. I just got my old Toshiba Windows computer. Anyway, so we're up to 52. 53. Hey, and now we're all the way up to 94%. Right now it's configuring hardware. So far, so good. Knock on wood. 
Okay, now we're up to 98%, 99, 99. Almost done. Well, then we'll see what happens. And 100. Okay, so let's restart. The system is going to reboot now. Please remove disk. It's removed. Tray is. If I can reach it. Closed. And then enter. Okay, moment of truth. Power saving. Yes, in case you're wondering what that noise is, I'm drinking coffee in the background. Here's my loading friend again. to log in as me. Oh yeah, I did put a password on this. Typing one finger down the wrong hand. And there we go. Now she's starting up. we go. Here is my desktop. Now it's not connected to the internet yet. I have to install my network adapter. That's going to be fun. Wearing all these accessories. I don't know. At this point I'm just happy to have an operating system back on this thing. She's pulling up Firefox right now. But anyway, so there we go. That is the installation of Ubuntu. I shall see you all soon, as usual. Thanks for watching, and I guess looking at the time, at some point this video will have turned into a two-part video.